The development of the L7 came about as an extension of the quest to get more bass out of a smaller enclosure. And so, obviously, you know, you've got a square box and, or you're mounting a lot of speakers on a panel. There's a space in between them if they're round speakers because they don't fit right up against each other. So you're not getting all the cone area to push to make sound that you could. And so the idea was, so how can we make a square speaker where you can mount them and just, just have this one huge moving panel of speakers, which has a potential of more output because it can push more air. We molded a square cone, but then we had to design the surround and because in the corners, without anything in the corner, when you pushed it in and out, the corner wrinkled really badly and deformed. And so this was another challenge that we had to overcome. And, and at first we didn't know which way to make the ribs to keep it from wrinkling so it could come together like this. And so we, uh, we cut slots in the surround and then pushed it in and out to see if it tried to overlap this way and then we cut them this way and pushed it to see if it tried to overlap this way because frankly we didn't know. And, but we found out pretty quick that the slots need to go radially instead of around the circumference of it. And so that was how we solved that. Then we had designed one and molded it with three ribs in it, but that wasn't enough. And so we kept adding more ribs to absorb the change in geometry. When it goes in, it tries to come together. When it goes out, it spreads out. So it's like an accordion, you need it to be able to do this. And so we came up with a number of ribs that allowed it to do that so it wouldn't deform. The rest of the surround is just straight, so that was pretty easy. Putting that together, then the design of the cone, because it's square, it's not gonna be as strong as a round cone because a, a cone is stronger, but a square has flat sides which can flat, basically. And so the design was that we put strengthening, it's kind of like a cross in the middle of it that was raised up is like a kind of like an I-beam straight across in this way on the flat sides to hold them to reinforce them so they couldn't flex and eventually that turned into kind of a multi-fingered design with the purpose of strengthening that cone and so that was another challenge is the first one that we built we didn't do that and then when we played it well the cone just went like that <laughs> it was really bad and uh, so a lot of it's kind of cut and try. Eventually we, we figured it out and, uh, and it had the potential of over 20% more surface area. The L7 was uh, uh, just the de descriptive of, you know, basically an L and a 7 together makes a square. Like some other things, it was kind of a placeholder. But then by the time we got the product ready to come to market, we go, well, that's, that's a cool name, let's just stick with it. Thank you.